everyone, it's Kid Girl here, here today to do a fun little YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a guinea pig cage tour. And I know I just did, I just filmed the video of me building it, but I thought I'd do like a real cage tour, just talking about the details of the cage, just in case you need inspiration or in case anybody needs a good cage tour video. So yes, this cage is one that I built myself or my dad and I built, it was my dad. I did not build it, my father built it. I don't know why I tried to lie. <laughs> I have no carpentry skills. <laughs> so my dad built this, it is a three by eight, it's almost a three by eight. There are some, it's cut a little short in some places, but it's 29 square feet of space, which can technically fit, I believe, eight guinea pigs. And we have five in here. We have Bellamy, Charlie, Coraline, Olivia, and Daffodil. I don't know why I had to think about that. I think it's just because I jumble my names sometimes. So yeah, that's all who lives in here. It is a CNC cage, but it doesn't have chloroplast. I have chloroplast behind it to protect the walls, but it is actually a wood-based cage and the wood is waterproof, or at least it's supposed to be. We're gonna see how that works. We may end up having to rebuild this cage if it doesn't work, to be honest. Um, it's actually really interesting because I've always struggled with using chloroplast. I don't know if anybody else has. I hate using chloroplast because every single time me and my dad would measure it and cut it out, we would either have to put the grids on the outside of the cage or on the inside of the cage. So then they would poop and pee in between like the, the snaps on top. So these little black things and get the grids all gross. Or we could put them on the outside but the table that it was on did not have enough space to keep the grids up on the table. So then the grids would fall off and it would be a whole thing. So then I'd have to put them on the inside anyways. You know, it was always a thing. It was always a thing with the chloroplast. It sucked. I hate using chloroplast. Chloroplast is great if you like have a cage on the floor or if you really think about this kind of stuff and plan it and know exactly what you're gonna need. But like me and my dad would plan and get it going and then we'd screw up somehow. So I try not to use chloroplast now. It's such a pain in my butt. <laughs> so yeah, right now what it is, is it is two uh, one inch strips of wood on both sides and then we push the grids down in between and then we snap them on top. It is incredibly sturdy and I really like the design. Um, we're just gonna see how it holds up over time. I'm sure it'll last like a year or two before I have to redo it to be honest. Um, I always am redoing my guinea pig cage. I'm never happy with it apparently. So yeah, also just so you guys know, I do use fleece bedding. So I use fleece with an absorbent layer. You need an, an absorbent layer if you're gonna be using fleece. So whether that be um, puppy pads, a U-Haul blanket, I use the moving blankets, those are really absorbent, or towels, anything like that you can use to be your absorbent layer. So keep all that in mind, let's get into the cage tour. Okay guys, so here is the enclosure. It is 29 square feet of pure awesomeness. <laughs> so we're gonna go through some details on it, talk about the things I've changed, talk about who lives here. So let me start off by talking about who lives in here. First, we have Miss Coraline. Hi, Cory. She's my little shy Abyssinian. And then we have Bellamy, my neutered boar. And then down here, we have Olivia and Charlie, and Charlie is escaping, there's Charlie. And then we have Daffodil, and Daffodil is over there. She is very shy, and she doesn't like me, so <laughs> there she is. So yeah, that's Daffy, that's everyone. Everybody has these little name tags that I have set up. So yeah, I just hang them all up. I always make like a pink one. I try to go with like a purple theme, and then the boys get like, a blue one and the girls are supposed to get all purple purple but I decided to paint Daffy's a little pink color because she's so cute so yeah um let's talk about some other things first this is where I keep hay because my big 50 pound box of hay is down here with my chair that I have to use to stand on because I'm too short I have to like stand on a chair to reach in because I uh, yeah I'm short like this cage is to my hip so it's just it's a pain in the butt so yeah, I put hay in there just so it's easy to give it to the rabbits and the piggies without having to drag out the box every time. And then some other things, um, I guess we'll talk about this first. So these are all my past piggies. Um, we have Beatrice, Daisy, Benny, Piper, Michelle, Nibbles, Jackson, Lee, Anthony, Charlotte, Penelope, and Ebony. So those are all their name tags. And then I tried to like just make it very cutesy and have a whole bunch of pictures of current piggies and past piggies and my rabbits, all that. So I definitely want to add more pictures. I want to get like the 
guinea pig crossing sign or do not enter or beware of guinea pigs. I want to get that sign. I was thinking I would put some framed pictures up over there of maybe like my first herd. So I was thinking about doing that. But yeah, I definitely want to add some more pictures. And I was thinking about hanging fairy lights above here at some point. So yeah. Anyways, now let's get into the actual cage itself. So this is more like the hangout area. Um, this is a bath mat it's like memory foam the reason why i have it flipped upside down is because their poops get like stuck in between these grooves so having this here is really nice it's cushiony it is washed it looks dirty i know it's kind of stained um here's a piglu they have just for an extra hide and then they have a hammock they actually have been using it they haven't used it as much as they did so i might have to lower it i liked having it a little bit higher in the air because then it wasn't like them just sitting on it because now whenever it's up, they can actually get comfy. Then we have this little toy that I got off of Amazon in a pack. I just got this so they would have something to chew on if they wanted. And then I have two little dog beds. Um, I want to get more of these, but they're like 10 bucks per dog bed. So it's like, hmm, why are dog beds so expensive, you know? And then we have this big... Um, I don't know like hangover above it and it kind of works as one big hide so that's really nice because that's where they hang out and sleep a majority of the time uh, honestly they mainly sleep under here and nobody is ever really sleeping in the piglu so i think that just shows how safe they feel under the the big hangover and then we have this cute little tunnel which i've had for years um they really like it at least one of them is always sleeping in it and then we have all their little uh food dishes with their pellets they eat uh, Oxbow adult guinea pig pellets and then they have their water bottles. I want to get another one So I want to have five one for each pig, but I had to borrow it for the rats because I Couldn't find one at the store that was a proper size so I had to borrow one and then as we go further down We have toys and such so these toys are also from the pack that that hanging toy came in So if you just go on Amazon, you can find all sorts of piggy toys So there's that and then I have this tube stuffed with hay I cannot speak. <laughs> uh, and then next we have this basket, which I know it looks gross, but they really like it. They like going under it and hiding in it and messing with it. It was originally for the rabbits, but the rabbits peed in it and I decided to take it away because I didn't want them to like just pee in it. There was no point. Like they had it for a couple of days and all they did was pee in it. So I decided to snatch it away. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they like hiding under there. So yeah, that's like the fun part of the cage. Everybody's happy. And then over here, uh, this is like a new thing I'm trying out. So having a, just a fleece mat. So I used to only have this. Hi Daffy, you didn't run. What a surprise, kiddo. You're gonna let me pet you. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. You let me pet you. I was shocked, okay? Anyway, so initially I would only use a fleece mat like this. So I would have a fleece mat down across here and I would spot clean daily. But the problem is, is that the pigs so, like this is the whole life of the cage right here because they come over here they eat they poop they pee they're always over in this corner uh right now none of them are but that's because they have pellets right now but you know they're always in this corner so they're constantly peeing and pooping on it so even if i spot clean daily they were stepping on their poop and like crushing it up and then i would have to like scrape it off of the fleece mat and so it was just becoming a lot to do and um it just, I don't think it was comfortable for them, you know? Whereas, like, with this, I'll be able to just scoop out the poops, and it'll be a lot easier because I have the bedding there to, like, stick to it. So it's not just caked onto the fleece mat. So I'm hoping that this will work. They are not going to be fully litter trained. You pretty much cannot fully litter train guinea pigs. That's a thing people try to say you can do, but honestly, I've tried it, and guinea pigs poop and pee where they sleep, where they eat, and anywhere they exist. <laughs> but this will help contain it a little bit more. And I'm really hoping it just makes life easier. So yeah, that's something we're trying out. In general, I really like this cage. It's probably my favorite out of all of the ones I've had built, simply because of how long it is. I think guinea pigs do a lot better in longer enclosures rather than wider enclosures. Uh, of course, if you have an, an enclosure that's like an eight by eight, then that's great. Like that, that's awesome. But having a three by eight rather than a, I think I had like a four or five by six. The five by six, it was just so compact that the piggies would, didn't have as much area to hide and they definitely had some bossiness issues, I could tell. And now, yeah, I've definitely noticed a lot less 
um, rumble strutting and stuff like that now that they're in here. I personally love it and I love the way it looks. I would love to hang fairy lights up, but honestly, um, I used to do that all the time, but it just isn't worth it with the rabbits and everything, so I won't be doing that, but I would love to ha hang some from above. Um, so yeah, and then over here is where they eat, <laughs> kind of, like their supplies for eating. Keep in mind, not everything here is for the guinea pigs. So for example, there are some treats here that the guinea pigs do not eat. So yeah, that's where their pellets go. I have water bottles. Uh, they do get uh, liquid vitamin C every day now, a syringe of it per pig. Actually, let me show you them taking it because it's really funny. Okay, so in case you guys don't know, guinea pigs need to have a daily supplement of vitamin C. And you can give that in the form of bell peppers, or you can get them the Oxbow vitamin C uh, treats. But I personally give them bell peppers and this liquid vitamin C, because then I know the exact amount they're getting. Because whenever you give them veggies, you don't really know who's eating what. Okay, Charlie, can, can you let go? Okay, that's, a, that's all you get. Calm down. You, you know, you don't really know who's getting what, when, and where, because they pick and choose what they eat out of the veggies. Hey kid, you want some? Um, I tried to do liquid vitamin C with one of my older herds. It was Pip's herd. And Pip hated it so much that none of the others would take it. Like, I don't know why, like, they just hated the scent and everything. Okay, calm down. The only one that doesn't get it is Daffy. I'm trying to work on her taking it, but she is so skittish. She legit, even if it tastes good, she won't take it from me. So we're working on that. I'm hoping that um, as she sees the others taking it more and more, she'll build up the confidence of taking it. But yeah, she doesn't. But I mean, they get daily um, bell peppers anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Here, let's just attempt. You want to take it? You going to take it? Come on, call me a liar. Take it. No, <laughs> see, she just, she doesn't want it. Here, do you want some more? You want some more? Okay, you spilled some of it. Okay, no? How about you? My little butt. There we go. Charlie's very sassy. So yeah, that's kind of my herd. That's what I have going on. Um, I just want to mainly work on um, getting different cage accessories and toys, which will be easy from now on because I kind of have an idea as to what they like now. I definitely love having a cage like this. It's so much easier to work with. Um, and they have an absorbent layer underneath. It is a U-Haul blanket. Here's one that needs to be washed. So this is on the bottom and it soaks up all of the pee. You need an, an absorbent layer if you're using fleece and your fleece has to be wicked. So your fleece has to um, be washed a certain number of times in order to absorb pee. So there's that. Um, that's the bedding that I use. I personally really like fleece. I know that not everybody does, which is fine. It's kind of an opinion based thing. You can use bedding if you want, but having five guinea pigs in such a big enclosure, I I think it would be so expensive for me personally you know it would just be crazy i couldn't even imagine what is bellamy doing right now <laughs> what is that butt doing bell he's like laying so weird do you not understand that you can go get hay if you want <laughs> he's like looking at olive who's in the hay like what is that hey bell can i pet you nope i had a feeling it was gonna be a no that's okay so yeah, that, those are the piggies. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoy seeing the piggy cage and it's awesome glory and all that. Um, I'm editing right now because I forgot to film an intro per usual. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and also check out my Instagram, link down below. And if you didn't, then goodbye!